So today's video is going to be about um, a few different resources that I like to frequent. Um, I'm going to showcase a couple different blogs, um, a couple like a book, um, a, a Discord channel, and um, some paid courses that I recommend. So it's going to kind of cover a, a few different verticals as far as like the type of medium that uh, you like to um, consume your content with. So hopefully there's something in there for you. Um, I like a wide spectrum, obviously. So um, hopefully this is helpful. Um, I do want to shout out SiteGround real quick. Um, I have set up two friends on SiteGround over the past, oh, two months. And my experience with them has been genuinely good. Um, I've, ha ha I've had access to the WP CLI. I've had access to Git. I've had access to a wide range of features that is surprisingly good for how much you're paying for the site uh, or for the hosting service. So um, I've signed up with a, like an affiliate program with them. So if you're interested in uh, purchasing hosting, like I said, they've got the WP CLI, they've got Composer installed on all their machines. Um, you can have a Git repository right in there. So if you're not interested in hooking up your own Git, you can do that. Um, they've got things like free Cloudflare and on top of that, Railgun, which is stinking expensive. So they give it to you just for free, which I'm, is just easily becoming one of uh, one of my favorite hosting companies. So if you want to support me, click the link in the description, sign up for the hosting program and enjoy all their awesome features. But uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, remember to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's uh, jump into this. So I've just compiled kind of a, a quick list of uh, resources that I find myself gravitating towards on a regular basis. Um, so the first one that I want to start out here with is CSS Tricks. I've been a fan of CSS Tricks since like 2008, 2009. And it started out um, being built on WordPress. It's still built on WordPress. But so there's this kind of like undertone of, 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 of WordPress throughout CSS Tricks. And they have, you know, if you just click on articles up here, and I already got it pulled up, but, um, and then click on WordPress, you'll, you'll get all of the... Uh, articles relating to WordPress. And as you can kind of see, they deal a lot with uh, kind of some pretty interesting stuff um, like headless WordPress with Gatsby, custom blocks, blocks transformations, and then like continuous deployment for WordPress with GitHub Ac Actions. So there's some really good stuff inside of here and then they release stuff quite frequently. So um, definitely something to check out. Uh, WP Shout's another good blog. They uh, have a lot of good articles. Like it says in the title, they're in-depth WordPress tutorials for developers. They are just decent tutorials. They've got courses that are essentially roundups of articles and things like that. Um, they even like showcase other articles so you don't have to like go track down individual, um, individual companies. I think I passed it. Oh yeah, so great a great comparison of local development for WordPress options. So goes over all the different uh, types of local development environments that you can have, and it's just it's an article talking about the ones from Delicious Brains, so like which has WPDB Migrate Pro. So they did an article, and WP Shout covered that article. So you can kind of not have to go and search out all the different articles from all the different places. You can kind of just come here, and you'll uh, kind of get a nice digest of other things going around in the WordPress community. Um, this next one, these next two are actually about Zach Gordon, because I think that he is just a genuinely good WordPress educator. And if you're willing to drop a few bucks, it's money very well spent. So he has a bunch of uh, courses on Udemy. The most popular is the complete WordPress theme and development course. Um, it's extremely highly recommended by me and by many other people. Um, I have a link to it down below. And then as well, he also has a site called JavaScript for WordPress that has a bunch of courses on here. I've taken uh, one or two on here as well. And they are very good. Like Zach is a very good teacher. Like, And 
I, I can't stress enough how well things are explained and how simply they're explained. Um, so if you are interested in actually dropping a few dollars on, on furthering your WordPress education, um, I would strongly recommend these uh, two places. Um, I have a link down below for both of these and full disclosure, like if you end up purchasing one of the courses from that link, I get some money back, but I'm not going to just, you know, start advertising things on my channel that I don't firmly believe in. And if you know Zach at all, or have taken any of his stuff, you know that I'm telling the truth that he is a very good instructor. So um, if you're interested in that at all, uh, you know where to look. After that, uh, so Brad Williams and Justin Tadlock and John James Jacoby have a series of books about WordPress development theme and plugin. And this is actually one of the first books that I ever um, got my hands on when I started learning WordPress. My first boss gave me a copy of this book and I actually have it around here somewhere. Um, so a second edition has come out and it is um, a pretty darn thick book. So I would strongly recommend this if you are, you know, the type of person who likes to read coding books. Um, I usually, don't find myself reading a ton about programming. It's usually, uh, if it's well, in book form anyway. Um, I usually am doing that all on my computer. But if you're somebody who likes to have like the, you know, the ink and paper um, type of experience, the material in this is, is fantastic. You're gonna have a lot of in-depth stuff. It's going to explain things in a way that's gonna make sense. It's gonna be um, by people who know what they're talking about. So. You can know that the content is just genuinely good. Um, and uh, yeah, I strongly recommend it. All right, WP Tavern. I love WP Tavern. It, uh, uh, funny enough though, is I actually don't go to WPTavern.com all that much. Uh, I forgot what it looked like until recently. I think they redesigned it. Um, but because I signed up for their newsletter a while back and I usually just get the email that has their articles in it and I just read them there because the, the, the emails that you get are, uh, digest and it has like almost the, it has like the entire article in it. So you can read it from top to bottom without ever leaving your email account. So I find myself reading all that stuff through there, but it goes over like things that are being released, like new plugins, just random news throughout the WordPress community. Um, like what, and what's going on with core. Like I wouldn't know what's going on with core without WP Tavern. So I'm super grateful that they, uh, do all, they cover all that stuff. So highly recommend, uh, coming here and signing up for their newsletter as well. All right. Finally, uh, almost finally, there's one more that's not on the website on or in my browser. I mean, uh, the Kinsta blog. I was so surprised when uh, I came across Kinsta's blog because they're a hosting company. And usually my experience with hosting companies is like what I see with like Bluehost and GoDaddy, which are kind of these mediocre kind of half-hearted articles about WordPress and solving, you know, little problems that, you know, a non-developer would encounter when working with WordPress. Whereas Kinsta's blog is very much geared towards uh, developers. Now they have lots of articles like you can kind of see right here in front of me that are for non-developers as well, but they have tons of free and in-depth articles for developers. So like this is, I've learned more from like Kinsta's blog than most other blogs that are by WordPress developers for WordPress developers kind of thing. Like they go over everything that you could possibly imagine. And the articles are long. So you're getting a lot of code examples. You're getting multiples examples of multiple scenarios of things. If you want to learn how to make your website faster, look for the Kinsta blog um, and, uh, article on it, and you're going to learn a lot, like all the way down to low level, what's underneath the hood of WordPress and why your query is, is too slow and how to make that like that much faster and all that kind of stuff. So if you're like wanting next level content, for sure, Kinsta's blog. Um, after that, I want to uh, uh, talk about the WordPress chat Discord. So I've jo joined this Discord about a year ago, and I was uh, really pleasantly surprised with all the stuff that I found. So there's a link down to the Discord below, um, but they have an extremely friendly group of people. It has a very, very active group of people who are enthusiastic about WordPress. It has lots of different channels about um, discussing the different aspects of WordPress from, 
oh, you know, like uh, plugin development to responsive design to local dev environments to things like that. You post a question in a channel, you're gonna get an answer. So um, if you haven't, if you have a Discord or you're looking to get into it, this is a great place to uh, get started with it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of roundup showcase of uh, uh, of resources that I gravitate to. Now there's a lot more that um, I that exist out there that I wish I had time to cover. So uh, if you'd like to hear more, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know. Also, if you feel like I missed a big one, leave a comment. Let me know which one I missed, and and uh, you know we'll uh, make sure that I tweet it out or put it in another video or something like that. Um, shout out to my patrons who have been supporting me. We just uh, released our second exclusive video where we go over how to get going with um, the underscores starter theme and how to get a PHP code sniffer running um, in Visual Studio Code. So you're actually writing P uh, WordPress standard PHP. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about that, sign up as a, as a patron. There's a link down below and uh, we'll get that going because we're just gonna keep building on top of that. So I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.